Uh, it's actually bigger than I thought. Hey, what's up? John Shred here, and today I'm going to review this MSI 4090 Supreme X Liquid. Yeah, I mean, if you haven't seen my other video where I did the Supreme X air cooled, go check that out. Uh, I also had the opportunity to grab this. So yeah, I wanna compare the two, see how well it works, see if this one performs better, and uh, better understand to help you understand why you might buy one of these versus the air-cooled version. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back. If this is your first time here, thank you for joining. I like to review different cool technologies. Most of the time it's video cards right now. Why not? So I'm going to unbox this beast uh, and see what it's all about. Uh, it's interesting, on the box, it has a couple neat little pieces. It says here, chillingly silent, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, as I start to open this up, maybe I'll, I'll talk about why you'd want to buy this one over the air cooled. I mean, so as we get into it, you, you'll see that it has a 240 millimeter radiator, which you'll need to find room for in your case. Uh, so first, first problem, uh, I can tell you right now that I don't have room for my current case. Uh, so the likelihood of me wanting one of these is, is very slim to none. But is, is it all that much better? I mean, what, what is nice, let me get this opened here. All right, I'm gonna check this out. Uh, nice Supreme logo there, that's cool. All right, well, let's open this up. Okay, exact same as the other one, most pad. Cool. Now, the, for the actual card, it's a bit tricky because it's two pieces here. Let me see if this comes out. Yes, thank you. Uh, and I assume there will be a funky adapter in here, which we will need. All right, let me put this aside. actually bigger than I thought. Now the idea of when you're liquid cooling is that you just need to have water going over the PCB and I mean the idea is that you have your kind of tubing and then all the, all the, the extra space the cooling power happens at the rad. This is still pretty big. Um, We'll get it installed uh, in my Lanley O11D Mini uh, in a bit. I'll go grab it and we'll put it in just to see how it fits. Then we can compare both videos to better understand, you know, space, how much it takes up. But I'm actually surprised. I mean, they do have this active uh, cooling fan on here, which is interesting. Okay. All right. Let's go look at the rod itself. Okay, uh, both side by side. The rad is pretty standard looking rad. Nothing all that fancy. There's some fans. It does have the cabling here on the side for the RGB and no, that's not even RGB. That's just fan control. Okay, so uh, does it say anything about RGB? I don't think so. Okay, well, we'll find out when we, when we turn it on. Um, so yeah, I mean, cable power on the top of the card. Here's your, your 12 pin uh, power connector. Uh, we found out last time that my Lianli power supply does not work with any 4090 so far, so I don't think this will be any different. I will definitely use the, um, the adapter. So that's great adapter plugs in there. So, I mean, nothing 
a whole lot to talk about. It's absolutely, I mean, it's definitely thinner for sure. Um, no RGB, as far as I can tell. Something may light up here along the bottom or at, this, at, the, at the end here, there might be a little bit of a light. So that's interesting that they don't have any RGB on the fans here uh, and on the card, it's very limited. So if you're not big into RGB, maybe this is a good option for you. Okay, let me go grab my case and we can take my 3090 Ti out, put this guy in, kind of put where I think the ratty ear could go. Like I say, it's not gonna fit. The only, I only have a really spot for a 240 in there and I'm using it. So that is the challenge when you get to these liquid cooled systems. Um, but, uh, we'll see if the performance is any better. We can keep the temps any lower at, at full speeds. So yeah, stay tuned. Give me a second. I'll grab my case and, uh, and we'll put it in. Okay. Uh, so here's my, uh, Leanne Leo 11 D mini case with the EVGA 39 Ti for the wind in there. Uh, and it fits really well now. As for radiator placement, in this case specifically, you can't really use the top mount unless you mod the fans and move them a little bit closer to the front uh, so you can get past essentially where your uh, motherboard is and, and the RAM, it'll hit uh, in an ATX or an ETX, e ATX motherboard. If you're using an ITX motherboard or a mini ITX or mini ATX, it, it, should, it should be fine. Um, but in this case, I put the all-in-one cooler for the CPU, the 240 mil here, shooting air out the back, um, which doesn't give us a whole lot of other options. In theory, you could put it on the bottom. There's probably room if you put it, you put it on the bottom. So here, let me get the let me get the 39Ti out. absolutely love this button on the motherboard to release the video card. It is amazing. Okay, you can go over there. Okay, let's put the card in. This is the fun part. Let's get rid of some of this plastic here. Can't stop us now. So gonna have more, yeah. And a tiny little one here covering. Okay. This is off. I'm actually going to pass this through. This is how I'm going to run it. Uh, now in this case, there's a, there's a front glass piece here. Um, so as I do my testing, I'm going to keep the glass piece off so it can just properly uh, flow. Uh, in theory, as I mentioned, you could put this down here, but it is the worst place to put an all-in-one. And there's a great video uh, 
by both Gamer Nexus and Jay about why you don't want to put it up there and you want to put it either higher. You want to make sure that the air, the highest point of the card is not where uh, it's trying to cool, which, which is the GPU. So in this case, yeah, you'd want it kind of back here, right? Where the other one is um, or, or on the top. So yeah, do not put it on the bottom, even though I said there's room, bad idea. Okay, let's turn this on. Okay, we know I don't have the other power supply up here, but I do know that I can power it up with this guy here. I just wanna see the lights. I wanna see how it looks. Okay. And here we go. Oh, okay. Well, that's uh, that's neat. I didn't expect to see this supreme light up there. Um. And yeah, as I mentioned, there, on the bottom, there's a, there's a bit of a light, but not much. This symbol on the top side, it's got like the little diamond thing, uh, just like the other card, it, it's configurable. Um, are these even spinning? Yeah, no, they're not on load right now, so, so they're not spinning at all. So, um, like I say, 4090s don't like this power supply, there's just not enough juice. Um, so here, I think, what I'm seeing, other than the thickness, it's almost just as long as the standard uh, Supreme X. So, I mean, you're not gaining a whole lot of room, but hopefully it's a performance thing. Is it quiet? Well, I don't know, there's still three fans on the darn thing. Uh, you know, one on the card and, and then two here. So I uh, don't know why it would be any different but uh, let me go take this back downstairs. I wanna run some benchmarks. That's really what I really hope to, to see is the improvement over the other card. Um, or else why would you waste the 240 mil rad space? So, okay, stay tuned. I'm gonna go try this out. We'll, we'll play some Warzone 2, uh, go through all my other benchmarking software, Time Spy, Port Royale, and see how it compares to uh, the other Supreme X, and maybe even uh, the FE that I did uh, earlier this week. Please check out that video, that video here. Um, so yeah, I'll come back and I will share with you what I have learned. What's up? Welcome back. Okay. I was very surprised, pleasantly surprised with this card. At first I was kind of like, eh, I don't know. It takes up much extra room in the case. Um, but here, check out the, check out the benchmarks. I mean, just, I'll throw them up on screen here. Um, out of the box, it performed very similar to the air cooled Supreme. Which is, I mean, which is what I expected, that they're pretty much the same card. Um, now, it's when it came to overclocking that things changed a little bit. Now, it's interesting to see that the air-cooled card, uh, the Power Max draw was 520 watts. They increased this one to 530. I mean, 10 extra watts, not a big deal, uh, but still interesting to see that it doesn't compare to the 600 watts that you get out of the Founders Edition. So uh, let's talk overclocking. Now, on the last card, the air-cooled car, as soon as I touched the core and, and, and overclocked it at all, it would freeze. Boom, computer locked up. It, it's pretty common when you, have, you, know, when you overclock the core, it, the computer tends to freeze. When you overclock the VRAM, that's when you get more tearing in general. So I was able to get it up to about 200 megahertz increase. I was at 250 for a bit, but I dropped it back to 200 and, and, and 200 was, was more stable. But was he, 
Interesting though, was that the VRAM, I was able to increase it by plus 1400 megahertz, whereas the other one was only about a thousand. And I was able to stay there consistently stable in most games, Time Spy did a little bit of tearing every now and then, but I mean, totally fine. Uh, but the performance increase, I mean, we're still not talking a lot, but three to 6%. Now, I mean, it's something, it's something, right? You hope that if, if you're going to get the liquid cooled version that you, you can push it a little bit more and it proves that you can. Now, what about the, what about the thermals? Cause that's the next thing. It's like, okay, great. If you can overclock it, but the thermals suck, but generally you can overclock it because of the liquid cooling is helping with the thermals. And this was definitely the case with this card. Overall, it was at least five to 10 degrees cooler at all times, uh, sitting kind of average for both the, the core and the VRAM in the 60s, high, you know, mid 60s to high 60s. Pretty cool. Now, when it comes to the lighting, as I mentioned when I took it out of the box, it didn't look like there was a lot of options. I'll, I'll post a video here just to kind of see what it looks like. Uh, if you do open up the Mystic Light application, you can customize it the exact same as the air cooled one. There's just not as many lights. Uh, so if RGB isn't your thing, then I mean, this might be for you. And I did confirm that the uh, 120 mil fans uh, over the rad do not have any RGB in them. Okay, lastly is when it comes down to cost. Now, most liquid cool option versions of the cars from my experience is that the liquid cool version is 50 to $100 US more expensive. And so then you kind of go, okay, do I want to pay it? And then I pay the extra bit, I can overclock it better. But in this case, they were the same price. So, I mean, to conclude, uh, if you have the room in your case, 100% go with the liquid cool version. Um, the card form factor itself, as we saw when we opened it up, it's just about as long, I mean, it's not as thick. Usually thicker cards don't usually make a huge difference in a case all that much, because cases are so tall. Um, but if you do have a 200 mil, 240 mil spot where you can stick a rad, I would absolutely do it. Um, the card was definitely more quiet than the air cooled one. I know in the box here, I point out, you know, Supreme, uh, what was the language? Uh, chillingly silent. While the, uh, the fans on the rad, when it did have to spin up, it didn't spin up as high as the air cooled one. And it felt like it just kept kind of a more consistent speed, keeping the overall system a lot more quiet. So. Really, you have same price, uh, OC is better, it's more quiet, uh, temps stay at, at an average lower than the other card. This is pretty much a win-win for the liquid cool version, assuming you have spot in your case. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I will do maybe a head-to-head -head video uh, comparing the two uh, in case you didn't see this one. But yeah, definitely my, uh, my vote goes uh, for this guy. If you are looking for a 4090 liquid cooled version, this Supreme is pretty top notch. So thanks again for watching. Hit uh, give me a like if you enjoyed this and uh, subscribe to see more. Thanks.